Hey everyone. So in this video I want to talk about comparisons because I think this is something that affects so many of us. And I certainly used to spend an awful lot of my time comparing my life, my appearance, what I did, what I ate to people around me. And it it was pretty all consuming. It was or it, it was even just the norm i would not even be necessarily conscious about it that i was making these comparisons but it was it was there so much of the time and it didn't make me feel great to say the least when i was comparing myself i would so often feel like i was coming up short in some way that i was less than someone else and and it was just this kind of continuous feeling of not being good enough and that I had to keep striving to be more like other people and constantly making those comparisons was was actually quite exhausting and what I found was it was taking me further and further away from who I really am and what I really want in life, whatever shape or form that might take. And even even to the point of, you know, I'd compare my opinions to other people and I would even even unconsciously alter my opinions to fit more with what other people were saying. And, you know, on, on some level that's, you know, seeking, seeking some form of acceptance or f wanting to, wanting to feel good enough, I guess. But in doing that, like I said, it was taking me further and further away from what I actually thought, what I actually felt, what I actually wanted to do, how I actually wanted to dress, what I actually wanted to eat. And... And so that part of me, it felt like it almost kind of got to the point where, you know, that that true part of me that was telling me what I actually really wanted felt like it was getting quieter and quieter because I was pulling myself further and further away. But actually, that part of me was always there, still is there, always has been. But we we so often look in a different direction because for various reasons we don't trust that part of us. But since, since letting go of comparisons, things have changed. And it kind of got to a point where I realised I really wasn't gaining anything. And that might seem really obvious. But I became... I became conscious of the fact that I was firstly making these comparisons and secondly that actually I didn't have to and I think that's a really important part of it you know becoming aware and becoming conscious of what actually is going on and becoming aware of the fact that we actually have more of a choice than we think you know like I said it felt like I was being pulled by by these comparisons and it was almost like I didn't have a choice in the matter but actually but actually I did and realizing that was so important because I I realized that actually I'm literally I'm gaming gaming gaining nothing from making these comparisons it was making me feel awful about myself and I was you know always constantly in that state of you know seeking seeking something else to that I could improve or change in order to feel better it was coming from that place of lack and since I've shifted that completely and now see that you know how I'm feeling what I want what I you know, want to experience what I want to eat, how I want to dress, all of those things. Like, that's what matters. And that's what I can choose. 
And again, just becoming aware of that, that that's actually an option is certainly for me hugely empowering because I'm no longer at the mercy of, you know, how, how I compare myself to others, what other people are doing. And the image of a, like a racetrack is coming into my head. Not that life is a race by any means, but it's like we're in almost like in these lanes. And instead of focusing on the lane we're in, it's like we're walking or jogging or whatever and looking to each side of us. How is the other person doing it? What are they wearing? What's their technique? And it completely detracts from what we're actually doing and like how we want to to run that or walk that that kind of distance in front of us how do we want to go through life i think it's something that we maybe don't ask ourselves a huge amount you know we're living in a society where we're bombarded with you know it might be expectations or images of what we should look like or adverts for things that we should buy to you know make us happy but actually when we when we stop and pause and reflect on okay well where am i in this equation then when we do that it's it can maybe feel a little bit weird and we maybe our automatic reaction might be well i don't know what i want because we're so used to looking outside of ourselves. But if we can give ourselves the, the space to almost just like sink into that part of us that will give us nudges in the direction of, you know, what we actually want, then it's, it kind of feels like recalibrating. And we can feel more, certainly I have felt so much more centered from that place and the more we do it the easier it feels and you know i'm i don't you know now compare myself to to other people in that kind of negative way where i feel like i am lacking and then must do something different and it's really freeing and what's come to mind is you know like a, originally it felt like well, how do I do that? Like, I can't do that. I just don't know how to. And I was watching a video this morning by Kyle Cease. And he said, I'm going to read it out. He said, you're not stuck in a pattern. You just keep choosing it. It feels hard to choose against that pattern because it feel, because we believe it's hard. It feels hard to choose against that pattern because we believe it is hard. And it just really struck me because it's like once we become aware of that, it's like, again, going back to this idea of choice, it's like we can, we can actually see and fully understand that we have so much more choice than we realise. Like once we become aware, once we become aware of what what's going on the fact that we might be comparing ourselves and the fact that actually we can choose to to not if we want to if we feel like that's not not serving us and i just really you know that that quote from kyle sees just really struck a chord because it's it's very direct <laughs> and quite blunt and it's, but it feels really true. And so I just wanted to, to share that in relation to this because I've seen that to be so true in my experience of comparisons. So maybe just sit with that and, and reflect and, and see what comes up and feel free to leave any comments below and I'll see you in the next video.